This is not what the earth looked like. This is a scarred earth with all the grooves and all the cuts and all the, all the deep crevices and basins and everything. Just blow the earth up. Well, poof, blow it up, make it nice and smooth. 70% land, 30% ocean instead of the other way around. And so now you have all of this, and this rift, this ridge, is actually on the surface of the earth. Okay? And it goes under the water and comes back up, and it goes around for 43,000 miles. And it starts in one spot, and the mo computer model put the spot over here, right off of South America, somewhere around right through here. And it started here, and it started here, moving at three miles per second. It took a little less than two hours for the ends to meet. At that point in time, the Earth exploded. Now, what happened during that explosion? You picture the people as this ark is sitting here, no rain yet. But all of a sudden, you have this crack, and it's moving all around. And you can hear this in places, and there is a real concern for this two hours of time, and then when it explodes, the waters from the deep that have been pushing up on this part of the mantle finally have broke the mantle and cracked the mantle. And now you have jets of water going up over 70 miles into the atmosphere, breaking through this nicely balanced canopy, and all along here, volcanoes with all of the rock that has been um, in a magma form all comes bursting out too, and you have lined all around this thing volcanoes, and you have spigots of super, super heated steam flying up into the air, and the canopy is pierced, the canopy now becomes unstable, and it starts to rain. And so it starts to rain, and it rains 40 days and 40 nights. At a half an inch an hour, that's exactly the amount of water for 40 days and 40 nights that Joseph Dillow put into the formula for the model that he had you know, in his book for the canopy. Half an inch an hour, now that's 12 inches in a day. But the majority of the water came from underneath because after 40 days, what does the Bible say? For another 110 days, it continued to put water onto the globe. What's going to happen as this water is coming onto the globe People are screaming, they're yelling, they're trying to get out of the way, they're beating on the ark, and you've got the moon that's going to pull on this, it's gravitational, and this is water that was under the earth, now it's on top, now it's subjected to the moon's gravitational turn, and you have water that swishes and swashes, and so whole areas are inundated, then, they're, then it's clean, it's clear. Then it's inundated again, and it's clear until finally everything is covered to the very tops of the mountains and above.